On a clean face, apply your primer and foundation. Here I am using the Studio Flawless Finish Foundation from e.l.f. in the color Porcelain. I dab it to the center of my face and then I blend it out with my fingers. I don't usually like to use brushes because I think they are dirty and they need maintenance. So I usually just use my hands. But if you prefer uh, brushes, it's up to you. It's your choice. Just do whatever you like. And then I conceal my eye bags. This is a 100 yen uh, concealer from Japan and I think it does a pretty good job of concealing my bags. Just gonna slowly apply a little bit of product on my eye bags and then blend the edges out softly. Then using a very fair concealer in liquid form, I'm going to brighten areas on my face like my smile lines and just underneath my dark circles. And then I slowly blend everything out. Time to conceal my imperfections. Using Shiseido Sports Cover Foundation, I'm just gonna dab a good amount of product on the problem spots like my acne scars and then I am slowly gonna blend out the edges. Then with a big fluffy brush and my DA's two-way foundation, I'm just gonna powder my face to set everything. I'm also gonna finish it up with a sponge because I feel like a sponge always creates a much more even uh, and compact finish and everything just looks more flawless when I use a sponge. Then with a flat eyeshadow brush and some light yellow eyeshadow, I'm just gonna apply it all over my eyelid. It's a very light shimmery uh, and fresh yellow. I'm also gonna extend the colors out of my eyelids just to help my eyes look bigger. I'm also gonna extend the color onto my lower lash line, going to cover all the way. Then with a bright green color, I'm gonna apply it on the outer corners of my eyes and I'm gonna blend generously to make sure it blends in nicely. You can barely see the green. It will just be like a hint of green and uh, it won't be like a harsh green, if you get what I mean. <laughs> I'm also gonna extend the green color onto my socket line, going to do a windshield wiper motion like this. And then, using an angled brush and some brown eyeshadow, I'm going to draw a fake crease on my socket line. And then I blend it out with a fluffy eyeshadow brush. With the same angled brush and a copper eyeshadow, I'm going to line my lower lash line. Going to line like 3 quarters of my lower lash line. And then with the same brush, I'll pick up some matte brown eyeshadow and then I'm going to go over my lower lash line again. As you can see, I'm actually extending it far below my actual lash line. This will help to create like bigger eyes and makes it look like I have the ego side. And then with some vibrant metallic green eyeshadow, I'm going to line my lower lash line again. Now concentrating on the outer lash line. With the same color and the same brush, I'm going to apply a little bit of it on the center of my lids. This will help the green to really pop. Mm -hmm. 
Next it's time to line the eyes. I'm gonna use a black liquid eyeliner to extend my eye line like this. It's gonna be half a cm longer than my actual eye and this will help my eyes look longer and bigger. And I'm also giving a little bit of cat eye, flicking the edge up a little bit, just a little bit though. This is the most important thing in cosplay makeup, fake lashes. Using a crisscross black exaggerated pair of lashes for my top eyelid and a feathery clustered sort of lash for my lower eyelid. I think lower eyelid lashes are very important, they help to open up the eyes and a style like this that looks a little bit feathery and in clusters, I think they add a lot of dimensions to the face without too much of an exaggeration like it still look like it gives a focus to the face but it doesn't look like you have too much makeup on then I extend my lash line so that it's more compatible with my upper and lower lashes to make my nose look sharper, I'm going to use a nose enhancer. Basically, you put it into your nostril and then it will make your nose look so much sharper. It's not exactly comfortable but all in the name of beauty I guess. And then with a flat eyeshadow brush, I am going to contour the side of my nose with a brow contour powder. Make sure you blend all the edges away and make sure you put some of the color underneath your nose. That will make your nose look a little bit higher. It looks like it's casting a shadow because it's so high. And of course put some of the colors underneath your mouth. That makes your features more pronounced on pictures. And then I'm going to shade my chin with a fluffy brush. Try not to contour beyond the eyes because if you do, it will end up looking a little bit dirty and it's not really the effect that we are looking for. Can you see the difference? My face looks so much more dimensional now. Next, using NYX Soft Matte Lip Color in the shade Tokyo, I am going to go all over my lips and just cover up every spot. I am not too concerned on having like a really nice sharp lip line. I just want to have coverage all over my lips and I'm going to blend it up with my fingers. Next, using a very light candy door pink, I'm going to dab it on the center inner corners of my lips and then blend it up. This will help my lips to look puffier than they actually are. And then with a darker lip color, I'm gonna line the center of my lips. This will help to bring a bit more dimension and give the gradient look. Blot it out and then apply a little bit of gloss. With a clean brush, I'm gonna apply this coral each pink color on the cheeks. I'm gonna apply it on the apples of my cheeks and then blend it out like this. And then I'm also gonna put a little bit on the tip of my nose and with a bubblegum pink color, I'm gonna layer it on top of the blush, concentrating on the center of my face. Next, I fill in my brows. I'm gonna use a brown eyebrow pencil to create an arch. It's a little bit difficult because my brows are very straight now but I'm going to try and I'm also going to extend my brows to be longer than they actually are because it will be more compatible with my new eyelashes and you know my new makeup eye. I'm also going to add some like hairlines to the tip of my eyebrows to make it look like you know nicer and also using an angled brush and some brown eyeshadow I'm going to seal it in. Then I subtly highlight my brow bone with this sh white shimmer beige um, pencil from Candy Door. And finally, it's time for highlight. I am using this product from Daiso. I'm gonna use a small fluffy eyeshadow brush to apply it on the inner corners of my eye. Applying shimmer here can actually bring attention to the center of the face and makes your nose bridge look like higher than it actually is. So don't skip this step. 
Next, I'm going to put it on my cupid's bow and on my chin. And then I'm going to put it on the center of my face. Be very light-handed here though because shimmer can exaggerate pores, which is not a good thing, but putting some shimmer on the center of the face really like brightens up the entire face. Next, with a brown liquid eyeliner, I'm going to line the inner corners of my eye. I'm just going to add a little bit of dimension and colors to the inner corners so I'm not going to do like a very cat eye-ish kind of line. Look at the difference. It's really subtle but you know there is a difference. This is how it looks at the end and with this we are done with the makeup. Time to henshin! I hope you guys enjoyed this transformation video. If you did please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, tell me what you think and oh, please feel free to check out my other Sailor Moon makeup videos. Bye!